Welcome to the 10th Annual Gala of the Tech Awards, Technology Benefiting Humanity. We will be celebrating the most important aspect of what tonight really means. Noble individuals and organizations who are actually applying technology to benefit humanity. The weaving of the two together. In honor of the Tech Awards 10th anniversary, the founders of the Tech Awards, please give them a big hand. We hope all of you are similarly inspired and will find your way to help make the world a better place. The Global Humanitarian Award is intended to honor extraordinary individuals. Good evening, Your Majesty Queen Rania Al Abdullah. It is an honor to have you here as our guest. For me, the Tech Awards are a perfect combination of ingenuity and compassion. Not only do they recognize invaluable innovations and in technology, they celebrate treasured contributions to humanity, too. And for that, we are all thankful. Nowhere do we see finer examples of the profound ways that technology improves lives than at these Tech Awards. To help countless people reach their full potential. And healthy communities can prosper with the help of people and organizations such as the laureates we are recognizing. Giving voice to the voices we rarely hear, but that need desperately to be heard. Whether that issue involves the environment, economic development, education, equality, or health. The laureates you are about to meet have endeavored to persevere and help some of the problems of others carrying it on in the face of adversity. CISO is a Finnish term, and the literal meaning in English is equivalent to having guts. More loosely, it translates as strength of will, determination, perseverance, and acting rationally in the face of adversity. That is integral to the human spirit and the spirit of the laureates you are about to meet. Our award laureates have amazing stories and amazing ideas and they all deserve awards tonight. I'm really honored to be part of a community and part of a space that perceives that the value of what they do is in its ability to have diverse and multiple perspectives of the world. When we started this concept, I think like many concepts, we didn't know if it was going to take root. There's a long road between capability and an impact. There's this ubiquitous technology that even the poorest of people can access. Our system is so simple that uh, we don't need an engineer to operate it. There are many things that technology can do that we as human beings can't do. And the award winner is Pure Water Exchange. Alexis T. Bologna. Venkatesh Manar. BBC World Service Trust. A single drop for safe water. Our biggest thanks are to those individuals in the communities we work with. I can now move uh, my uh, project to the next level. For all those uh, familiar with India, you might realize it's Diwali, the biggest festival in India. It's our new year. It's also the festival of light. And I'm really happy to come from India and partake in this light that the Tech Awards brings to the world. And to bring a small candle from the many corners where we do work and share that with you. This year's laureates alone prove that creativity overcomes challenges. We need the imagination of our most creative thinkers like you. We need technology ideas from inventors like you to reach our children and those that are isolated and abandoned so they can thrive. We need the unthought of to be thought, the undreamt of to be dreamt. And that's what you do best. The best part of mining our creativity, as Maya Angelou put it, is that you can't use it up. The more you use, the more you have. Let's use our creativity to spark the next era of human history. One where every child goes to school and everyone has ideas. Thank you all very much. <laughs>